Today's Bible story is the parable of the rich fool. A parable is a story with a hidden meaning. Jesus often told parables to help people learn more about what God's kingdom is like and show them how they could have the best life of all. What's that, Francis John? You have a problem. Ooh, what's that? You've just been counting all your honey jars and you have lots and lots of them. You have so many that you might not have to buy any more this year. Well, Francis John, that's an awful lot of honey considering what you eat. So what's the problem? You have so many jars, there is no room for them in the cupboard. Hmm. Well, our Bible story today is one that Jesus told all about someone who had lots and lots of extra food and what he decided to do with it. Are you ready for our story today? The parable of the rich fool. People love to listen to the stories that Jesus told. He told stories about things that people did and saw. One day, a man in the crowd said to Jesus, teacher, our father just died and left some things for us. Tell my brother to share them with me. But Jesus said to him, who said I should be your judge or decide how to divide your father's things between you two? Then Jesus said to them, be careful not to be greedy. Life is not about what you have. Then Jesus told this story. There was a rich man who had some land. His land grew a very good crop of food. He thought to himself, what will I do? My barns are too small to keep all the food. Then he said, I know what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger barns. I can put all my wheat and good things together in my new barns. Then I can say to myself, I have many good things stored. I have saved enough for many years. Rest, eat, drink and enjoy life. But God said to that man, foolish man, tonight you will die. So what about the things you have stored in your barns? Who will get these things now? This, Jesus said, will be for anyone who say, saves things only for themselves. To God, that person is not rich. We heard in our story today, the story told of a man who had grown lots of food. He decided he needed to build bigger barns to store it all so he could keep it for himself. Jesus wanted people to understand that God would never think of this man as rich, as what makes people rich in God's eyes is not how much you have, but how much you share it with others. I wonder, if you were the rich man, would you want to keep all the food you've grown or share it with others? You may like to close your eyes and think about that now. I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer too, please say amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you for all the things I have that you have given me. Please help me to be generous and share what I have with others. Amen. What's that, Francis John? You've decided what to do with all your extra honey jars. What's that? You've decided to share them. You're going to take some of them to the shelter for homeless bears and some to the honey bank for bears that don't have enough money to buy honey and give some to friends. Good for you, Francis John. Well, thank you for joining us today for the parable of the rich fool. We look forward to you joining us again soon. Goodbye and God bless.